All right, guys, we got a hot tip. It's supposed to be a groundbreaker skeleton inside here. Let's see if they got one. Uh, a groundbreaker skeleton here? I do. I want it. Did you just get it today? I got it last week. No one bought it? Mm-mm. They bought my They're beating chicken. down the doors to buy those things. Uh-huh. They bought my chicken. Okay. Here it is. Maybe. Nope, that's not it. All right, so it's, we found it. It was on the bottom of the stack. They had one. It's coming home with me. Follow up in a minute. Welcome, guys. Uh, this is a new prop reveal for 2024. It is the Tractor Supply brand branded Groundbreaker Skeleton. The actual brand is called Red Shed. They have a lot of very cool stuff. Approximately four foot tall. We are going to uh, go ahead and unbox and check the quality and then uh, throw it together and see what it looks like. Let's get started. This should be a lot simpler to assemble than the uh, 12 foot Home Depot skeleton is. Which, by the way, I got new stuff from there to show off this year, too. what we're working with. Well, this looks very simple. I'm actually hoping the head is about the same size, but it looks like it might be a little bit bigger. Let's see. Looks like the head is uh, detachable from the body. Um, there's no lights on this model, but it does have black paint on it, and it does look like it's old, old skull. So that's pretty good. Or it looks quite a bit, in fact, a little bit better than that picture would imply. All right, what else we got? A little bit of spine, possibly for the neck. We're going to try assembling this without reading anything, so bear with me. I'm just, this is my ultimate test to see how easy it is. Uh, see the back side, right? Oop, there we go. That's there. Twist it into place. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff in the way of me pulling this big piece out, so we'll get this out. Looks like this is empty. Double check. I think this is just for spacing the box out. Yep, nothing in this box. All right. So now we have the main body. Yeah. Pretty light, not bad. Yeah. Let's see if we can lock that neck on there. I think. It says go this way in the twist. I need to go like farther and then twist it. Ah, see. So far so good. More empty stuff. This is one arm. This looks like, based on the photo, the one that's lifted up. So let's try mounting it and see how it comes out. The squares are like that. So I need to pull it out from break any of these. I already had to order a shoulder joint for uh, a, uh, I had to order a joint for a 
Okay, this, the shoulder hole is wider than it is tall, so this has to be done with it lifted up a little bit, apparently. Let's go ahead and get that lined up and twist into place. And then I believe this just fits in it. And I see a hole for securing it. Put that in there. In fact, I see slots there for other things. All right, man, we're making good progress here. Do not discard, it contains six stakes, the box says. So here's some stakes. And this probably has something in it too. cheat and look at the manual just so I can see where the stakes go because I don't see a way to secure the body. Let's see. Okay, so the arm gets a stake. So there's three stakes. That's what I thought. So this thing is apparently held in place by its arms. So we got one stake and one hold. And I'm not going to secure this very well because this ground is hard as a brick for one thing. And secondly, because I uh, want to be able to put it up in a minute. This isn't where the things will be bounded. This ground has rock under it, so I'd never be able to push these stakes in. All right, so we're still missing an arm. This is where stuff gets interesting. Same with the other one, the arm is wider one way than the other. And then you have to just like block it by twisting it. This one twists backwards, believe it or not. And then finally, the hand. And right about there, I think. holes for stakes in this. I guess you get down, I don't know. Alright. One more one more look at this just to see. How did I not see that? There's a hole right there in the rib for stake. Which means there's also one on this side. And then, of course, the hand gets a stake between the fingers of all the places. So you're just supposed to, I guess, to stick that there and hammer it down? Well, there you go, guys. That's pretty big. This is the... Red Shield Groundbreaker Skeleton, four foot tall, very easy to set up, didn't take very long at all, cost 250 plus tax. I got some ideas of what to do with it, I think it looks pretty cool, I think I'm going to leave it out overnight just to mess with people. John out and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, uh, just as a follow up, I wanted to mention that uh, the arm is actually quite difficult to remove. It's got these slide spots in it right there. And there's these little uh, press spots that will lock into it. So once you get it in place, it, it locks on there. So you have to, it will come apart just by pulling on it but it doesn't feel like it you just have to pull really hard 
So just keep that in mind when you're taking the thing apart. John out.